spade, you a joke. Call a spade a spade. If the new world order was black, I'll tell you that. They ain't personally related to me, and I'm not like them. I said, them blacks is evil. The new black world order, I don't have nothing to do with it. It's easy. Because I represent truth, justice, and equality. But see, you won't do that. Because, simply because they are Caucasian and you don't want to blame white folks for nothing. And that's tacky. The United States of America has no friends. You do know that, don't you? The United States of America has no friends. Everybody that's associated with the United States of America is bought and paid for. Everybody gets some money from America. From, from Pakistan, Afghanistan, Iraq. Everybody that, that's around in America circles is bought and paid for. NATO is a joke designed by America to keep all her flunkies in check. That's what NATO is about. And America makes sure she gets the she controls the whole NATO garbage. It's the illusion. Y'all tricksters. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad said that the white man has a Barham and Bailey world. It's false. NATO is false. It's the illusion of countries united together for the best, for the best interests of the world. Really, it's for the best interest of what? For America and Europe. That's what it's about. Has nothing to do with what's in the best interest of the world because if it was, if it meant, if NATO stood for the best interest of the world, how come this part of the world is super, not just a little bit rich, super rich, and the rest of it is super poor? All these years that NATO exists. And how come innocent people are dying under oppressive, oppressive uh, regimes? NATO don't get involved unless oil or gold or some type of material substance is involved. It's got to be something to their interest. Fake and then you wonder how come I cannot trust you. America has no friends. People are either paid by America or they fear America. America is a bully. They just like hanging with America and trying to try to be nice with Americans. Because they fear America, because America is violent. America is a warmonger. As soon as Colonel Gaddafi decided to give up his weapons program, then they made a move on his country. And now Colonel Gaddafi is dead. Trusting white people. And he knew better. But he gave them the benefit of a doubt without them showing they can be trusted. And he paid the ultimate price. Don't, don't you think that I'm so stupid that I will fall for your trick? 
It's not happening here. I know ye. You are like your father, the devil, and the works of your father you shall do until you prove to me. Otherwise, I see you as wicked and evil and a trickster and a deceiver. Liar speaketh with foot tongue. And the sad thing about it is your only real true friend are black people. Black people have been your friend, real friend, no matter how you beat us, castrate us, lynch us, discriminate against us, all the evils you've done to black people in this nation, we still say some of them who are out of their mind, don't know no better. I love America. I love me some white folks. Still, they are they loyal as your dog. And I will come call some of them dogs and pets. But you will not treat black people right to save your life. And that's what's going to take your life. It's the fact that you will not treat and you will not give the descendants of slaves born in America justice. And so now all of this is coming down on your shoulders. How do you believe that a nation built on slavery, built on murder, built on rape, built on lies and deceit? How? Do you believe that it's going to continue to stand on that foundation? It's got to crumble. You have sown these seeds and now they sprout. This is the consequence. But you rather blame the victim instead of your racist forefathers who started it. George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Thomas Paine. John Adams, all these suckers, they knew slavery was going to be a consequence. It's going to be a cancer for this nation. But they did not care about you because they enjoyed themselves. So they passed down to you this problem. But instead of saying, look, I understand what these my forefathers done. I got to straighten this mess up. You rather, oh, Talik, he's a hater. Oh, Talik is a racist. Oh, Talik this. Oh, Talik that. You rather attack the victims who are acting out of, it's a reactionary behavior. Who wants to be mistreated? You slap me, I want to slap you back. It's a reaction. Now, if I don't slap you back, that's all right. If I slap you back, oh, that's you filled with hate and violence. You hit me first. You passed the first lick when you put black folks on this land 400 some years ago. And we have not touched you. And we don't have the power to touch you. But the creation. And circumstance, your time is run out. The whole world is getting sick of the United States of white America and your lies, your deceit. You bullying people trying to police the earth. They sick of you. They don't even want your money no more. They sick of your arrogance. Sick of your how you believe you so supreme over everybody. You so great. You so intelligent. If the white man is so intelligent, how can this nation be $15 trillion in debt? You so smart. You so smart and you gender confused. You don't know whether you're a man or a woman. You don't like black people, but you're sitting out in the sun, burning your skin, putting plastic in your lips, plastic on your backside. You are very confused people. You so smart. 
but you build cars that pollute the air that you have to breathe. Telephones that give you cancer in the brain and so forth and on and on. But you so smart. You so smart that you practice slavery and did not know that sooner or later that the children of the slave was going to get smart and turn against you. But you so smart. You so smart, you put a penis in your mouth that you urinate out of and talk about that's pleasure with your high IQ. Nasty things. And then you teach the slave that this is all right and you got all these slaves, these symbols, handkerchief, they doing the same thing. Filthy. Nasty, vile people. And now it's all coming to a head. You can. See, America can be the best thing to happen to humanity. If you want it to. But because of greed. Arrogance. I'm so better into the new world order. What you gonna change? What it is, you just want to, you already rule the world, but you want to make sure everybody do and become like you. That ain't new. All that you want to do is complete the puzzle. That's the only thing you want to do. Ain't nothing new about the order. Black folks been dealing with it for 400 years. The new world order. Ain't nothing new to me about it. Been living in it. So it's up to you. When you show respect, when you show, when you show and earn, not talk, but with your actions, you show respect and prove that you can be trusted. Then perhaps, maybe, if the people want it, then such a thing can happen. Unification to fight the enemy of all of us. But until then, there's no dice. Because this, this game, we can no longer gamble and we can't afford to crap out. And I'm not going to take that chance. Not with a people who have a history of speaking with forked tongues. I have to talk the truth, tell the real truth, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. If I can't do nothing else, then I have to bring the reality of our situation to these people who are made lost, dumb, deaf, and blind. So again, thank you to my ancestors. Thank you to the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Thank you to Fannie Lou Hamer. Thank you to Harriet Tubman and Nat Turner and Denmark Vesey. Thank you to uh, all those who have died and sacrificed to try to do something to change this condition. But now, it seems as though the conditions is becoming ripe for this fruit to come to come to harvest. These black folks in America, we must be free. Not free because some man gave us freedom by signing a piece of paper. Because if a man give you freedom, the same man that gave you the freedom, control that freedom, and can take that freedom away anytime he or she feel like it. We have to earn our freedom. Fight for our freedom. Die for our freedom. Just like everybody else have done. And then you'll truly know. What you missed. And then. Our babies will appreciate. This generation. That gave them. The opportunity. To be the best human being. And then the best gods. And goddesses. That the universe have ever seen. Can you comprehend?
I don't think so. A slave can never comprehend what it is to be a God. Because he's too busy serving God. Mm -mm. And if you was a God, God don't serve gods. Gods create. God's control. God's bring life into existence. You can't comprehend. A slave can never comprehend that which is outside of what his master gives him. So all the handkerchief heads and sambos and House Negroes, the only thing they know is this. They can't comprehend freedom. And when you talk about freedom, all of this outside of the earth, all this belongs to you. It's all for you to explore and to get to know. Your seed has so great potential you just don't know but again let us keep talking let us be silver and quarters and there's a possibility we can come up if we are adults if we act like the mature people we claim we are and stop all this name calling and foolishness then perhaps we can come to a solution which is in the best interest of the descendants of slaves born in America and those who are called Caucasian and perhaps in that solution the the uh, real a real change can come into effect that will make manifest what is best for all of humanity regardless of color color was designed as a trap by the new world order or the oppressors it's a trap along with the lust for material greed material things it's a trap to keep you enslaved to the physical and keep you bound to the worldly things when there's so much to explore so much to know so much to, oh wow that's why in the bible and the quran they talk about the, the believers are obsessed with heaven going to a higher place but you'll never get to a higher place holding on to that which is low a place that the scriptures call hell and we can agree I hope there is no doubt that the condition that we're living in is a living nightmare it's a living hell so those of us with kind hearts sincere hearts let us and we can change the condition you don't have to wait till you die to go to heaven. Heaven can be right here on this earth that we all can enjoy. But we'll never be able to enjoy 